the Rutgers, Rutgers is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Golden Gophers, in talking with them this week, Kirk, it's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow. He's on the run. Slides down. And he has a huge game. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Gives it up the gut. They'll bring him down at about the 45. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 45. Check nine, check nine. Go! And he throws it away. Pushed out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, uh, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Go. Gets it, he's in space. And they push him out at the 18. Well, that's a big game there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. From the 18 yard line, it's first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. Now he's scrambling. The five. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 22, he's coming. 22's coming. Mike, Mike. I smell fit. Thank you. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Complete. He's got room. And they make the stop around the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29 yard line, second down. Get 
gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike one, Mike Red one. two. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. When they broke the huddle, I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver. And he still brought it in to give this team a big lift. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Here's the eighth play of the series. between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and nine. nine. From the 32-yard line, second down. run left side and he shoved out of bounds at the 24. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. We've got a first and 10 ball on the 11 yard line. Just throws this one away. This is the 13th play of this drive. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Picks up about nine on the scramble. We've played one quarter. Minnesota leads it 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They put everyone up on the line. Green nine, green nine, go. Green nine. And he hits him hard at the nine. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Fourth down, this isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Rutgers is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Minnesota is up by four. Quick pass intercepted. So it's intercepted by the corner after the air pass. Well, the corner came up with a pick, but he can thank his defensive line for that one. They got up into the quarterback's face, put the pressure, and made him get rid of the ball. The corner was there to make the pick. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. to the tight end again completes. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. From their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Nearly intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 42-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rutgers is up a field goal. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Mike one, Mike one. Tackled after 
kick up. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. Mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he's tackled right around the 30. That's, That's a gain, a gain of 13, 13 on the play. First down. From their own 30-yard line. First down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Ray Go. two. <laughs> Caught by the back. First down. They'll bring him down at the 50. That's a gain of 20. That, that makes it first and 10. 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Red two. Green 15. Check motion, motion, motion. Motion. Go. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes at the 31. From the 31-yard line. First down. Steps out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. That makes it six in the minute. And he's level the 39 yard line. The Golden Gophers are going to call their second timeout. He goes out of bounds around the 24 yard line. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Minnesota is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he 
throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. You know, on these shorter distances to pick up the first down, it's basically the offensive line matching up against the defensive line. And on that particular conversion, the offensive line did a nice job of getting just enough of a push to give the back enough room for the first down. It's second and five here. Ball on the 43. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Play is number eight on the drive. The kick is up, and it is good. This return should be the last play of the half. He'll need to break it all the way to give his team the lead. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets to about the 27-yard line. We played a half of football. Rutgers in front, 13-10. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Rutgers has a three point lead. Tackle made at the 35. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. Red, two, three, eight. The halfback picks up a yard.
First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's taken down at the 44. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. The 27 yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Rutgers holds a field goal lead. Go four! Yellow Set three! Yellow three! And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Yards there by the tailback on the counter. That's a game and two on the play. That makes it second and eight. We go to work. We go to work. From the 14 yard line, second down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, one's the mic. Watch No, go. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Go for it. Run, 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 run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Pitches back. And he hits him hard at the two. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. That brings up second and goal. This is the 13th play of this drive. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. to perfection for the school. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, let him go in for six. He makes the PAT. A 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 20 to 10. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here he goes. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. They hand 
handed off. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Sack makes this a fourth and very low. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Up the middle and stuffed. That'll bring up second and eleven. We've got a second and eleven. Ball on the twenty-yard line. They go to the run and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Call a loss of one yard. Third down. One. That's three down and one to go. The Scarlet Knights with a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. So Mike's number one, Mike's number one. Man, did they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. That makes it fourth and 12. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Let's go. And so he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Gets it. He's in space. He scores. What a play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. So a short three-play, 52-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Rutgers is up a field goal. The ball is loose. It's picked up by the offense. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Red two. Handoff inside. Got the corner. And he's tackled at about the 47 yard line. the 48 yard line. Yes, sir. That is a loss of the That'll bring up second and eleven. From the 48 yard line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second down. Red two. Red seven. Red seven. Motion, motion, motion. Kill, kill, kill. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 42 yard line. coverage for a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Black five, black five. X, one, seven. yard line from the 27 yard line it's second down rolls right intercepted What is he thinking? The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is wide open, that he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 10. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Five-yard loss on the play. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Once and all, going deep. Intercepted. Brought down right around the 40. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From the 40-yard line, first down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. the middle. Minnesota will have one timeout remaining. Gets 
out to around the 22. Now the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. Gain of two on the play. That, that makes, makes it second and eight. eight. It's second and eight. Right, Ball on the 20 yard line. Red two, blue 20. They'll bring him down around the 19 yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 2017 Rutgers. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.